Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna be talking about failover in Unify. We'll be using the UDM Pro. To my secondary ISP, I have a block of IPs, so we'll be adding multiple WAN IPs as well. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, we have an Amazon store and I'll put a link in the description below. In this picture, this is a typical business design. We have one ISP on the left and one on the right. We'd want these connections coming in from different sides of the building just in case there was a cut that happened in the building. At least one of the ISPs would still be up. Same goes for your home, but it might be a little trickier to get your ISP to run it on the other side of your house. So my primary connection is a PPPoE connection and then our secondary is gonna be a static block of IP addresses, which will be going into our WAN2 port of the UDM Pro. So let's go over to my UDM and look at some of the settings. So we could see on the right hand side of the UDM Pro that we have both WAN links connected. The first WAN link is my PPPoE. This is my fiber connection going into my UDM Pro. And then in the top right is my block of static IPs that I haven't assigned yet, but that's connected. And this is provided by a cable company. So let's look at some of the WAN settings that we have available to us. So I'll click on the settings wheel and then we'll click on internet. Here you could see my two different service providers. On the top is my main primary, which is my fiber connection. And on the bottom, it's just showing a private IP address, but we're gonna switch that to my static IPs. So I'm gonna click on the bottom WAN2, and then we're gonna go to advanced. Here you could change the DNS servers if you'd like. I just have 1.1.1.1 in quad nine. We could put in a VLAN ID if it's required by your ISP, as well as MAC address clone. Right now, Unify doesn't support load balancing. About a year ago, they did have it in the controller and I'm hoping they bring it back. But for now, we could only do failover only. Now let's click on our IPv4 connection. Here it's set to static, so I'm gonna put in my static IP addresses that are provided by my ISP. Now if my static IP address is entered, we could add additional IP addresses, which I'm gonna do because I have a block of five IPs. I'm just gonna put three extra IPs in here. Now the additional IPs are added into our Unify configuration and I'm blurring it out due to obvious reasons, but you guys could see the number on each end and that will be important when we create a network and specify which IP to go through. Now all we need to do is press apply changes for these changes to apply. Now let's test the failover. So what I'm gonna do as I can't go downstairs and physically unplug the cable for my PPPoE connection, I'm just gonna change the connection type to DHCP and that will drop our WAN connection. Right now, if we did a what's my IP, we will see that it ends in 98. I'm gonna do a consistent ping to 1.1.1.1. And then we're gonna go into those WAN settings and turn off PPPoE. Now, after we change PPPoE to DHCP, we could see we're getting a new IP address that ends in 59, which is my block of IP addresses on my WAN 2. We could also see that we lost no packets, so the failover worked great. Another thing we could do with the block of static IPs, we could create networks and tell it which IP to go out of. So how we would do that, we'd go to add new network, and then I'll call this block of IPs, and we're gonna go down to advanced. We're gonna give it a VLAN ID of 225. We're gonna turn off auto scale, and then we're gonna give it a gateway subnet. So it'll be 192.168.225.1 slash 24. And then we're gonna auto configure our DHCP range. Now, if we scroll to the bottom, we have our internet source IP, and this is where we could specify what IP we want this network to go out of. Right now it's set to dot 59, but we could switch that. And I'm gonna put this on dot 60 and press add network. Now, if I go to my switch and put this computer into the right switch port, we should see that it's going through that new dot 61. So I'm on port 13, where we'll click that, and then we'll put the port profile and switch it to that new block of IPs and press apply changes. Now, if we bring up a command prompt and type in IP config, we could see we're in that new VLAN, the 225 VLAN. Now we'll go to what's my IP and see if it's routing through that IP. And as you could see, we're going through the dot 61. To make your networks go through a specific static IP address, that needs to be your primary WAN. If it's your secondary WAN, it won't work. It will always go through your primary. So we can't specify what goes out WAN 1 and WAN 2. 
hopefully they add that feature in the future. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.